The effect of vibrations can be analyzed for your piping model using a harmonic analysis in AutoPipe. Bentley offers two training courses that I suggest taking if you're going to apply this on a project. First is the modal analysis and dynamic introduction course, which is very important to take and to understand before setting up and analyzing any dynamic analysis on your piping model. The second is a harmonic analysis course that uses the same model that we're looking at here, but digs much deeper into the details and into all of the settings. So in this example, we're looking at a compressor assembly that produces two critical shaking forces on our piping model. For each of the critical shaking forces, you want to create a harmonic load file that can then be applied to the model and ran in an analysis. So here again, we're not focusing on modal. We're assuming our modal analysis has already been set up and performed correctly. And we're just focusing on the harmonic loading and harmonic analysis. So to set up the load, we would come to the loads tab and select harmonic. In here, you can create harmonic load files for each of the critical shaking forces that need to be reviewed. Multiple harmonics are considered and combined for your critical shaking forces. And this is what's created here. So I have two that are created here at two different speeds of the compressor assembly. Once I've created these, I can accept this dialog and an external loading file has been created with this loading information that I can now apply to my piping model. So I can then come to the analysis ribbon tab and select the dynamic analysis button. And I'll jump over to the harmonic tab here. I'll create a new load case for each critical shaking force I'm applying. So I have two and I'll select the correct harmonic data set for each of the harmonic load cases. There are a few extra options in here to select from, including static correction and the combination method. And again, these are gone over in detail in the training class, but I'll keep them as default here and click OK. And I'll analyze the model. Here I'm analyzing static, modal, and harmonic, and I'll let it run through. I can then review the combinations that I can use to review my results. So I have two harmonic load cases that were analyzed, H1 and H2. On the code combinations tab, I have two occasional code combinations that were created, one for each. And on the non-code combinations tab, I see my two harmonic cases there as well, which can now be combined as required. So I can use these to review my harmonic results. 